Welcome back to the channel. It's Totally Cody here back with another TV show reaction and today we're going to be continuing our journey through season three of the Big Bang Theory. All right. We're going to be doing episode seven, eight, and nine today. This is going to be fun. I just, I, I really don't know what to say in these intros anymore because like it's all the same stuff. I'm excited to watch the show, excited to continue the journey, all that stuff like that. So I'm just going to cut to the chase with it and say if you guys would like to watch my full length reaction to it on the Big Bang Theory on my Patreon, go ahead and look for the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me. Now it's time to sit back, relax, and watch TV show together. Let's check out the Big Bang Theory. Sheldon, I cannot believe you made up your own game. Oh, research lab is more than a game. It's like the slogan says, the physics is theoretical, but the fun is real. <laughs> oh, wow, look at that. My Department of Defense research grant is renewed. Oh, great role. Now you can demolish your Soviet-style cyclotron and build the Large Hadron Collider. <laughs> and as the first beta testers, you two have quite the edge when we play with Wallowitz and Kuthra Polly on Sunday. Oh, gee, Sheldon, I don't think we can play on Sunday. Why not? <laughs> I have to pick up my friend Justin from the airport. There you go. She has to pick up her friend Justin at the airport, and I can't play because I'm going with her, right? Um, yeah, if you want. I mean, there may not be room. He's got a lot of stuff, like guitars and amplifiers. Oh, God. Hey, coming to L.A. looking for some session work, because I told him he could just crash on my couch for a few weeks. Come on, Leonard, if you roll a six, Penny dies horribly in a nuclear meltdown. <laughs> <laughs> All Sheldon cares about is the game, and I love it. Some guy is going to be sleeping on your couch? He's not some guy. He's my friend. So, by friend, do you mean friend friend? Gay friend or ex-boyfriend who you're not platonic with but still might have a thing for you, friend. Definitely not gay musician sleeping on my girlfriend's couch. Yippee. Yeah, I could okay, see where that's a problem. We went out a little bit a long time ago, but we were never, like, going out. Went out was, in fact, the past tense of going out, which I think we all know is a popular euphemism for saw each other naked. <laughs> I'll just roll for you. <laughs> with Justin staying with me? I'm not talking to you like you're an idiot. I'm saying the whole idea is idiotic. You accidentally stare at a helium argon laser, lose one turn and a <laughs> 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 I'm not talking to you like I'm an idiot. Oh, why don't you just rent some bunk beds and invite the black eyed peas? Hey, oh my. If you want to invite the entire lineup of Lollapalooza to sleep in my apartment, I will, and it's none of your business. Are you listening to yourself? Do you know how childish you sound right now? Oh, now I'm a child. Well, at least I'm not an idiot hey, anymore. But you are such a <laughs> <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> Sheldon, she's gone. You can turn off the blender. <laughs> Has your relationship reached its inevitable ugly end? <laughs> As a result of Penny's forfeit, you have become the world's first winner of Research Lab. <laughs> Would you like a commemorative snow cone? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get how she can just announce that an old boyfriend is going to be sleeping on her couch. Hey, I thought of a game we can play in the car. I don't want to play oh, no. a game, Sheldon. It's called Scientist. Now, to make this game even more compelling, you must consider only the contribution of the man to the field, not the validity of the field itself. For example, Abu Musa Jabber Ibn Hayyan made a greater contribution to the discredited field of alchemy uh, than how... Say that name again. What was that name? All right, I'll start with an easy one. Um, Isaac Newton, Madame Curie, and Niels Bohr. And then I say one little thing, and I end up being the bad guy. <laughs> and Madame Curie had her her husband to help her what am i supposed to say well leonard it doesn't matter if you're cool or not because i'm penny and i'm pretty <laughs> uh, you think you're doing me a favor just by being in a relationship with me no no leonard i'm doing you a favor just by being in the same room sheldon's as gonna have a whole belt down come on, come uh. on. Calm down, we'll make the movie. I believe my alarm is appropriate given the situation. The movie starts in 17 minutes, which means we'll need to make all the lights on Colorado Boulevard, plus skip the concession stand and pre-show urination. Hey. Hey. We're uh, going to the movies. No, we're not. We're standing <laughs> in the hallway suffering through an awkward encounter. <laughs> Hang on. Just 
give us a minute? Take all the time you need. Go with Sheldon. That's what he's telling you. So, are we going to talk about last night? Are you ready to apologize? Uh, this is stupid. Oh, there it is again. You think I'm stupid. No, there's a difference no. between being <laughs> stupid and acting stupid. Oh, yeah? Well, there's a difference between being a jerk and being an ass. I think both of them are just not understanding each other. <laughs> Leonard, when that woman moved in three years ago, I told you not to talk to her. And now, look, we're going to be late for the movies. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess with Sheldon's hey, movies. Hey, look. Hey, guys. What's going on? Uh, we need to kill a couple hours till the next showing of Time Bandits. Oh, well, no problem. I was thinking of closing early and going home, but let's face it, that's just a slightly smaller, lonely room filled with comic books. <laughs> Do you think it's okay for Penny to have an ex-boyfriend sleep on her couch? No, I mean, she's obviously way out of line. Thank you. Yeah, but if she dumps you, she'll have a new boyfriend by tomorrow morning, and you'll have a new girlfriend when you figure out how to build one. <laughs> I am not gonna fold. Excuse me, I don't think Benny's out of line at all. You don't own her. It's like my He's got a point there says, too. If you like it, you should have put a ring on it. <laughs> and and then he lost at the it. At the very least, when she found out Leonard was upset about it, she should have backed off. No, you were upset about that. Really? Did you miss all the subtle indicators like me saying, Howard, I am upset? Okay, sorry. <laughs> you miss in this country, back in India, it means you're upset with a guy named Howard. Yeah. Do you know what vegan chicken and rice is? Rice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I was having fun sitting around all night listening to my mother say, have you ever peed so much in your life? Oh, <laughs> my God. Don't bring Guys, my into Sheldon you is going to freak out. Both of you. All this fighting. I might as well be back with my parents. Damn it, George. I told you if you didn't quit drinking, I'd leave you. Well, I guess that makes you a liar because I'm drunk as hell and you're still here. Stop yelling. <laughs> you're making Sheldon cry. <laughs> Please. Please tell me that in Young Sheldon, there is that exact argument that I want to see now. Hey, Sheldon, what are you doing here? This is a restaurant. It's lunchtime. I would think as a waitress, she'd be familiar with the paradigm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I believe Leonard is waiting for you to come crawling back to him and apologize. Well, that's not going to happen. Excuse me, miss. I'd like to order lunch. <laughs> Fine. What do you want? I have a few questions. First, I noticed that you offer soup and a half sandwich. Sheldon, they just make a half sandwich. You can't make a half sandwich. If it's not half of a whole sandwich, it's just a small sandwich. She's going to okay, kill him. Fine. It's soup and a small sandwich. Is that what you want? No, of course not. I'll have my usual. <laughs> Don't you usually get lemonade? Yes. You want lemonade? Yes. Anything else? Yes, I want you to apologize to Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> I am not going to apologize. I've done nothing wrong. He is completely over. Reacting. Irrelevant. The disruption in your relationship is making my life intolerable. Considering the number of transgressions you've committed that he's overlooked, don't you think that just this once you could return the favor? I'm coming. Goodbye, Sheldon. <laughs> he's got a point with that one, too. They're both kind of right in their own ways. What do you mean transgressions I've committed? Yeah, yeah, I see you. You're making a little check sign in the air. I got it. Just hold your horses. <laughs> what does Leonard complain about? You're driving the plethora of stuffed animals on your bed that stare at him during your amorous activities. <laughs> your constant tardiness. Why hasn't he just said so? Because according to him, you're oversensitive and have a temper. Oh, really? Oh, Would God. Do me a favor and tell Leonard that he can drop dead. That's oversensitive and, and temper. Go apologize to Penny. <laughs> what? Right now be good. Although a few minutes ago would have been better. <laughs> you don't like my stuffed animals, my driving, or my punctuality. It's true, isn't it? Okay, yeah, it's true, but I can live with that stuff. What I can't live with is you casually informing me that some guy's going to be staying in your apartment without even asking me first. That isn't even your problem. The problem is you don't trust me. Oh, come on. Sheldon. Well, that's, that's true, too. Say that I don't trust Penny. Can't read your mind, Penny. Really? Why not? You're so smart and I'm so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Raj. Raj. Oh. <laughs> Raj. Oh, Stop knocking, it's open. Please tell my parents that our dark matter research is at a critical juncture and I can't come home for my cousin Sanjay's wedding. Sheldon, 
Ask our son what we are supposed to say to Mr. and Mrs. Chowdhury, whose daughter Lakshmi is flying in from London for the sole purpose of meeting him. I don't care. And why don't you think I can find a woman for myself? Because you're 27 and the closest thing we have to a daughter-in-law is that Jewish boy Howard. Oh my God. That is completely below <laughs> the belt. Sheldon, tell my parents that Howard and I are just friends. Fine, I'll come home for Sanjay's wedding. <laughs> He's not a lost dog. <laughs> hey, why don't you just... That stop sign you just ran wasn't. What stop sign? Eyes on the road! Eyes on the road! <laughs> oh, God. Not not going to... I'm busy, too! You answer it! I can't! I'm on the toilet! <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to hear that! Can't you just say I'm busy? Tell them I'm on the toilet! <laughs> And he's gone. There's no one there. Just hearing things, you crazy old lady. <laughs> hey, Stuart. Uh, Penny. Yeah? Is everything okay? What do you mean? Uh, Sheldon told me you and Leonard are having a fight. Oh, yeah, kind of. It's just no big thing. Oh, good, good. Uh, I love you. <laughs> I'm not okay. Talk, but he can't perceive us. Don't flatter yourself. I'm just ignoring you. <laughs> right, come on, Sheldon. Let's go home. Look, well, we're done fighting. I've heard that before. Well, my mom is shouting that Jesus would forgive her if she put ground glass in my dad's meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's on the roof skeet shooting her Franklin Mint collectible plates. <laughs> yeah. Where is he gonna sleep? Oh my God! Would you let this go? I'd let it go. <laughs> <laughs> Why should I let it go? Why don't you just tell the guy to find another place to sleep? Uh, so you have childhood issues. We all have childhood issues. At some point, you just need to grow up and get past them. Fire! Fire! Whatever, please let me handle this, please. Yes. We will always love you. Seriously? <laughs> He's not your kid. Right, Leonard? Always oh, is a long time. <laughs> Sure, always. How about we buy you this robot and then we all go home? I want that one. <laughs> okay, you can have that one. Oh, come on. He's just gonna play with it twice and then it'll end up in his closet with all the other junk. <laughs> can I get this comic book too? <laughs> yes, you can. Oh my god. <laughs> we meet again. <laughs> So what did Justin say when you told him he couldn't sleep on your couch? He's a musician. He'll sleep in his own vomit if he has to. Oh my God. <laughs> oh no. Should have asked for much more than a comic book and a robot. <laughs> How much time do we have? Uh, T minus five hours, 37 minutes to onset of meteor shower. Okay, our position is 34. 168.22 degrees relative to magnetic north with an elevation of 49.93. Anything yet? Uh, we have a signal, but there's no frame lock. Hang on. How about... All right, let's see what's on the East Coast feed. Oh, hey, Dune. <laughs> Not a great movie, but look at that beautiful desert. <sighs> <laughs> Sheldon's log. <laughs> Stardate 6334.5. While my colleagues are off observing the Leonid meteor shower, I've remained behind to complete my paper on the decays of highly excited massive string states. Nice. Although my of human companionship. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just weird hearing him say that. That was my Captain Marvel gloves. That's what that was. <laughs> I'm kidding. And good evening to you, Siam Palace. This is Sheldon Cooper. Yeah, I'm going to be dining alone this evening, so I'll be reducing my usual order. Oh, for heaven's sake. In the mid-18th century, King Rama the Fourth of Siam <laughs> a huge empire amongst the colonial powers of Europe in order to preserve his throne. Surely you, his cultural descendant, can handle pad thai and dumplings. Penny? 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 Uh-oh. What's going on? Penny? I'm back here! For God's sake, I'm in the bathroom! 
Shall I come back at a better time? Get in here! Hurry! Oh, God. Hello. What happened? I in the shower and I think I dislocated my shoulder. Not surprising. You have no safety mat or adhesive stickers to allow for purchase on a surface with a low coefficient of static friction. The ducks in my tub. Uh huh. They're whimsical because ducks have neither a need for nor the ability to use umbrellas. <laughs> oh my god, I gotta go to the emergency room. Well, assuming you're correct that your right humerus is no longer seated in the glenoid socket, I would certainly think so. Okay, can you drive me? I don't drive. Well, I can't drive! Well, it seems we've reached an impasse. <laughs> uh, I could call you a cab or an ambulance. No, 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 I can't wait that long. You gotta help me, please. Let it never be said that Sheldon Lee Cooper ignored the pleas of a damsel in distress. <laughs> no, I'm saying that. Let's go. Well, it does seem rather ironic that for one of 99 cent adhesive ducks, we both might die in a fiery car crash. Oh, my God. You and Penny having sex in the tent while I sit out here and watch Howard hump a cactus? <laughs> <laughs> okay, the best I can tell, there are eight other campsites nearby, mostly science nerds like us. But in Ridge are two not unattractive middle school teachers who reek of desperation. <laughs> Wonderful. How old are they? I don't know, 50, 55? Can't be that hard up. I am. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Look, they gave me homemade cookies. Of course they did. That's what grandmothers <laughs> do. <laughs> what are they waiting for? Mmm. Mmm. Mm, not bad. Yeah, very tasty. Wait, but so tell me more about these teachers. We're wearing tie-dyed Grateful Dead t-shirts. Oh, God. Those are pot cookies. Mm. Good cookies. <laughs> Which panties do you wear on Mondays? I don't need panties. I just need shorts and a shirt. My mother always told me one should wear clean underpants in case one is in an accident. It doesn't mean one won't be in another. Especially if I'm driving. <laughs> at least, at least Sheldon knows that, that that he doesn't know how to drive correctly, and that's why he's able to just do that. No. Oh, that's cute. We should have you check for a concussion. <laughs> but don't look. Don't look. I don't want you to see me naked. Oh, well, that's understandable. <laughs> you may be interested to know that a prohibition against looking is well established in heroic mythology. The Lot and his wife. Is that my arm? Oh my god. Who doesn't feel like an arm? Oh no, Sheldon! <laughs> What'd I say? They were pot cookies. <laughs> Up above the world so high, like little diamonds in the sky. <laughs> That's beautiful, dude. The earth is moving into the park. I can feel it. <laughs> I can feel the earth moving. <laughs> It's moving too fast. Raj, slow it down. <laughs> Pretty, aren't they? <laughs> Is <laughs> your American accent? Everything you say sounds stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, that's great. For the record, I should let you know this is my first time driving an actual motor vehicle. The mirror is properly adjusted when a portion of the driver's door handle is visible in the lower right corner. There's the handle. Not bad. Too far. Bringing it back. Where is the passenger side mirror? <laughs> in the parking lot in Hollywood. Can okay, we please go? Yes, as soon as I adjust my seat. Oh my god. Oh dear, I'm gonna have to start again. <laughs> <laughs> If I could speak the language of rabbits. They would be amazed, and I would be the king. <laughs> Len Nerd. I lost my virginity to my cousin Jeannie. Oh my god! I would be kind to my rabbit subjects. Did they, did they really just pass that? Like, that At didn't just first. get told? One day, 
I hold a great ball for the president of France. But the rabbits, they hate me and don't come. I'm embarrassed, so I eat all the lettuce in the world and make them watch. <laughs> oh my god. Can't look at pickled herring without being aroused and ashamed. Okay, Howard, we need to talk, buddy. We need to stop this. No. Nope. <laughs> at this point... A little faster? Oh, I think we're going sufficiently fast. What's that? Nothing. The engine does that sometimes. It's been on since I bought the car. It's all the more reason to consult with a mechanic before it explodes. It's not going to explode. Just keep driving. Warp speed ahead, Mr. Spock. <laughs> Mr. Spock did not pilot the Enterprise. Oh, God. I'm going to lose the arm. <laughs> Release accelerator and slowly apply the brake. While we have a moment, may I ask you a question? What? Why do you have the Chinese character for soup tattooed on your right buttock? It's not soup. It's courage. How'd you see it? You said you wouldn't look. Sorry. As I told you, the hero always peeks. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, that was the last pudding cup. Oh, God, they're hungry. No. What about Slim Jims? <laughs> That's what he used to eat his pudding, remember? <laughs> wait, 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 so you're saying we're out of food? The only thing in here are blue ice packs. <laughs> I know they're poison, but they look like big, yummy otter pops. <laughs> oh, God, I am so hungry. Uh... All right, there's no need to bark at me. <laughs> According to the inexplicably irritable nurse behind the desk, you'll be seen after the man who claims to be having a heart attack but appears to be well enough to play doodle jump on his iPhone. <laughs> and how did the accident occur? You already know that. Cause of accident? Lack of <laughs> adhesive ducts. <laughs> okay, medical history. When was your last menstrual period? Oh, next question. I'll put in progress. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Moving to psychiatric disorders. List all major behavioral diagnoses, e.g. depression, anxiety, etc. Ass. Possible Tourette's. <laughs> <laughs> That's not... lesions or other skin conditions. Soup tattoo on right buttock. Take a break from being you for just a minute and try being, I don't know, comforting. I'm sorry. Yeah. They're there. <laughs> Everything's going to be fine. He can't do it because that's her shoulder. Sheldon's here. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Thanks, that's much better. <laughs> oh, I'm so hungry. Will you shut up? We're all hungry. What is happening right now? What kind of score are we looking at? Hot dogs, buns, s'mores? I mean, it's a freaking 7 Eleven! <laughs> my mother would and I love you, brisket in my backpack! Quick, get forks! You don't need forks, it's so tender, it falls apart in your hands! He's right! Oh my god! Uh oh. I feel like we're forgetting something important. Yep, like the meteor shower. <laughs> Maybe a Tupperware bowl of roasted potatoes and carrots. Yeah. <laughs> Remember, you were given powerful pain medication and a muscle relaxer, so uh, don't operate heavy machinery. <laughs> Try not to choke on your own drool. You have to help me get into bed. <laughs> <laughs> She's high as a kite. Sheldon has to get me into bed. <laughs> charm of your drug-addled candor knows no bounds. <laughs> you know, people think you're this weird robot man who's so annoying all the time, and you totally are. And then it's like that movie Wally -E at the end. You're so full of love, and you can save a plant and get fat people out of the floaty chairs. <laughs> so I would not have got that reference if I didn't watch Wally -E, like literally two years ago. You. Soft kitty is for when you're sick. You're not sick. Injured and drugged is a kind of sick. 
And the cycle comes full circle. Soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur. Wait, wait. <laughs> Let's sing it as a round. I'll start. Soft kitty, warm kitty, little ball of fur. <laughs> <laughs> I've got all night, Sheldon. Kitty, there you go. <laughs> there you go, buddy. <laughs> he rolled over and realized. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> she was his cousin. <laughs> <laughs> That's still not funny. <laughs> she was my second cousin. <laughs> she was my second cousin. <laughs> it's the it's the accent that Raj is doing. <laughs> Dude, you slept with your cousin. <laughs> So, I feel like that was the first later, time that Raj was actually battle, happy that like that, that doing that stuff. Who says, what the heck was all that about? <laughs> oh, she's back. See, it took two years for the snail to... Oh. Not important. <laughs> Howard's got a girlfriend. Sure. Where do you think this is going? You're so funny. <laughs> You're like a stand-up comedian. <laughs> A Jewish stand-up comedian, that'd be new. <laughs> Actually, I think a lot of them are Jewish. This is our third date, and we both know what that means. We do. What does that mean? I've been on like 20. Oh. You're kidding. <laughs> I'm not gonna say I what I was thinking. You're Never mind. For a relationship or a one-night stand? You know, it's not unheard of for a one-night stand to turn into a relationship. Call me when you figure it out. Greetings, homies. <laughs> Omet. <laughs> Are you back from your date so early? In romance, as in show business, always leave them wanting more. What exactly does that mean? He struck out. The universe was in a hot, dense state. The babbling, the mystery, it all started with a big bang. Did either of you guys know that three dates with the same woman is the threshold for sex? <laughs> Not sure I've never had three dates with the same woman. <laughs> with Penny and me, it took two years. Before you and Penny hooked up, did she ask for any kind of commitment? No, she was pretty clear about wanting to keep her options open. <laughs> I have something to announce. Wait for you to finish your current conversation. What are you talking about? Uh, that cultural paradigm in which people have sex after three dates. I see. Now, are we talking date the social interaction or date the dried fruit? This is very exciting, and I wanted you to be among the first to know. Hey, Koopa, I hear you're going to be on the radio with Ira Fuedo from Science Friday next week. <laughs> Thank you, Kripke, for depriving me of the opportunity to share my news with my friends. My pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you was not sincere. At what point did National Public Radio have to start scraping the bottom of the bell for its guests? Yeah, don't answer. It's rhetorical. He's just he's just jealous. It's okay. You such a stupid head. They're interviewing me by phone from my office regarding the recent so-called discovery of magnetic monopoles and spin ices. It's pledge week and they're trying to goose the ratings with a little controversy. <laughs> Very cool. Congratulations. I called into Fever 104 FM New Delhi and was the fourth person to say the phrase that pays. Fever 104. Aaj ke nahi ka ghar. Much catchier in Hindi. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> All right. These are the talking points for my NPR interview tomorrow. Howard, look this over and tell me what's unclear to you. <laughs> Excuse me, I have a master's degree in engineering from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. It required the completion of 144 units of grad work and an original thesis. Look this over and tell me what's unclear to you. <laughs> You know, when Sheldon gives you homework, you don't have to do it. <laughs> In fact, it's better if you don't, otherwise it makes the rest of us look bad. Yo, Raj, talk to me. Uh-oh. <laughs> ah, sorry, just screwing with you. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, she said she hasn't heard from you in a week. I thought you liked her. Oh my god, that's a week. Ooh, yeah, but she wants a commitment, and I'm not sure she's my type. She agreed to go out with you for free. What more do you need? <laughs> oh my god. But, you know, more like Megan Fox from Transformers. You're never going to get somebody that Katie hot. Sackoff from no. Battlestar Galactica. No. Are you high? Howard, you're going to throw away a great girl like Bernadette because you're holding out for some ridiculous fantasy? Hey, just because you settled doesn't mean I have to. You think that letter was Dude, settling? I'm sitting here. <laughs> Obviously, he isn't the kind of guy I usually go out with. But that's not you know, settling, physically. though. That's not the same. Oh, my God. Here we go. Again, I'm right here. <laughs> I do not judge a book by its cover. I am interested in the person underneath. I'm interested in what's inside people, too. But you know, why is it wrong to want those insides wrapped up in, say, the delicious caramel that is Halle Berry? Wow, okay. When you say things like that, it makes people want to hit you. Biologically speaking, Howard is perfectly justified in seeking out the optimum mate for the propagation of his genetic line. <laughs> Thank you, Sheldon. <laughs> and whether that propagation is in the interest of humanity is, of course, an entirely different question. <laughs> Joining us today by phone from his office in Pasadena, California. Oh, no. Dr. Sheldon Cooper. Oh, this is going to be a Wyatt. <laughs> now, let's talk about magnetic monopoles. Can you explain to our audience just what a monopole is? Of course. First, consider an ordinary magnet and your audience must know. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> uh north and south pole. If you cut that in half, you have two small This is so bad. This is bad. An ordinary magnet. Has two <laughs> poles. The primary characteristic of a monopole is that it has only one pole, hence monopole. Why is everybody so mean to him? This was something good for him. <laughs> You're looking lovely as always. Thanks, Howard. Who is that? Nice to be part of your masturbatory fantasy. Come on, Katie. Don't make it sound so cheap. Get started. <laughs> Sure, but can I ask you a question first? Yep. You want to play Cylon and Colonist? <laughs> oh my god. No. I want to know why you're playing make-believe with me when you could be out with a real woman tonight. She's a wonderful girl and she really likes you. I know, but she's not you. I'm not me. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> the real me is in Beverly Hills going out with a tall, handsome, rich guy. Really? Tall? Howard! <laughs> what are you doing in there? I'm taking a bath! That's all you're doing. We share that tub. Oh my God. How you doing, buddy? I was humiliated on national radio. How do you think I'm doing? Come on, it wasn't that bad. Yes, it was. What do you that want? Was, that was we mean. We represent the lollipop guild. And <laughs> <laughs> Raj is great. <laughs> He's okay, a savage. So, Kripke played a joke on you. It wasn't funny. Oh, Did God. you laugh? I fell on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he got you. You can get him back. With all that helium in you, you're lucky you don't float away. <laughs> <laughs> Are you really admitting defeat? I never admit defeat. Good. What if you could make Kripke look even sillier than he made you look? I don't think that's possible, dude. You're not helping. I didn't Literally, up, Raj. I <laughs> Like how the Joker got back at Batman for putting him in the Arkham Asylum for the criminally insane. That's true. He didn't just stay there and talk about his feelings with the other psychotic villains. He he broke out and poisoned Gotham's water supply. I suppose I could poison Kripke. No. No, that's not where we're going with this. There are several toxic chemicals that be untraceable in an autopsy. <laughs> okay, uh, that's the spirit. Oh. How about we put a whoopee cushion on his office chair? He'll sit down and it'll sound like he's flatulent, even though he's not. <laughs> oh, gee, you're too late. Scarlett Johansson and Wonder Woman were just in here trolling around for neurotic little weasels. Yeah, I came to talk to Bernadette. She's working today, right? Yes, but I don't think she wants to see you. Wait, Bernadette, I need to talk to you. I can't now. I'm working. Yeah, this will only take a second. You asked me to think about where our relationship was going, and I did. 
Bernadette? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this more comedy that I don't understand? <laughs> no, I'm serious. You know, I'm never gonna find another girl like you who likes me and is, you know. Okay, real. I think we're going a little bit too a little bit too far. I prefer to think of myself as quirky. <laughs> Howard, we've only been on three dates. We haven't even had sex yet. Fair enough. When's your break? Wow. Wow. That was that was not what I was expecting you to do. This for revenge. A solution of hydrogen peroxide. Going to combine these chemicals with ordinary dish soap, creating a little exothermic release of oxygen. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, what does that mean? Oh no. Observe. Oh no, this it's is happening. This a live shot of Kripke's lab via a mini webcam I was able to install thanks to a dollar bill discreetly placed in the night janitor's shirt pocket. <laughs> you remind me of a young Lex Luthor. <laughs> you flatter me, sir. Let me guess, motion sensors? Yes, the reaction will be triggered when Kripke reaches the center of the room. This is truly the Sheldon Cooper way to get even. <laughs> 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 it may be low tech, but I still maintain the whoopee cushion has comic validity. That's the president of the university. And the board oh. of directors. Abort, abort! There is no abort. Well, how could you not put in an abort? I made a boo-boo, all right? Oh, my God. The board will really appreciate how well we're using that NSA grant, President Siba. <laughs> that was awesome. Looks like the Ganges on laundry day. Oh, my God. This classic prank comes to you from the mind <laughs> of Sheldon Cooper. If you'd like to see the look on your stupid face, this video is being instantly uploaded to YouTube. Encouragement in this enterprise. We didn't think about we didn't think about this all the way. Well, I'm going back to India. What's your plan? <laughs> <laughs> Testing. Check. Check two. Oh my God! What is this? Oh, now what? You want me to throw him out? No, that's okay. Are you sure? He's small. <laughs> I could get a nice tight spiral on him. To propose to you. Oh my god. <laughs> you found it creepy, but that's just the kind of thing I do. <laughs> oh god. All right, so that was part three of The Big Bang Theory season three. I gotta say, <laughs> very good stuff. I'm glad to see Bernadette's coming back because I was wondering if she was gonna come back there. I didn't know. Um, like I said, I've seen her in pictures before and on thumbnails and stuff like that, but I didn't really know who she was until that happened. Um, but I'm excited to see where this show ends up going and seeing if Bernadette and Howard can be a thing still and, you know, group that together. But if you guys would like to watch my full-length reaction to The Big Bang Theory on Patreon, go ahead and look for the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will see you all next time. Remember, everybody, stay totally terrific. Bye.